Hello and welcome to the exercise where we'll be going over how to do a cover page. All right, we're looking at an example of a cover page. You're actually going to receive a copy of this. Uh, part of your exercise is going to be to reproduce it exactly. So let's take a look at the components of this cover page. This is the company header at the top, any old claims company. There's their address. The insured info follows their name, their address, and their telephone number, in this case a cell number. The claim rep and the estimator, eventually that will be you, but in this case it's adjuster guy listed here. Claim number, policy number, type of loss, the pertinent dates, you'll have a copy so you can copy this exactly. Um, there is the price, uh, there's the price you're going to be using, and here is the the estimate is saved, the Smith underscore Barb. And finally, at the bottom of the model opening statement, uh, you're going to be copying this exactly. You'll have a copy so you'll know what to do. Okay, now we're going to close this view out uh, and take a look at how to get to this cover page, just a refresher of the process. Uh, so we're going to close out this window and close out the reports window. And then we're going to save an exit out of the estimate itself. Now, a review of the process. Here we are in the control center and we're clicking on the contact manager. This is where the claims rep estimator is going to be added. That's you and that's step one, setting the stage here. Um, then we're going to be going to document modules and this is where you're going to be adding the company header and the opening statement, both. Okay. Now after this you're going to be going to user preferences at the top underneath the uh, control center tab and that's where you're going to be able to set up your price list right there and down at the bottom you've got the administrative defaults there's your uh, company header, uh, your claim rep this is going to set the global settings so that the, they'll show up correctly in your estimate and over to the left hand side here you're going to see opening and closing statement this is where you're going to insert that uh, opening statement Okay only way to get to it right now. All right, when you're done there, you're going to go to the dashboard, and that's where you're going to be able to create the project. And the important thing to remember here is you have to name it before you open it. So we're going to do last name underscore first name. So uh, Smith underscore Barb, and then we're going to create the new project. And once the project is created and opened, first thing we're going to be doing is adding the basic information for the insured and that's going to be under claim info and insured info. There's the name and address and uh, the pertinent dates, date of loss, uh, date inspected and the like. And under coverage slash loss there's our claim number, our policy number, um, type of loss, that's all going to show up on the cover page. You need to complete all of that. and That's about it, but you might also want to check under parameters to make sure you properly set your uh, opening statement down at the bottom there, uh, your company header, that's a good place to double check. So let's take a look at print, the top right, and view. And this is how you're going to be viewing your cover page to make sure you've got this exercise correct. And that's it.